As we look at our early morning commute from the East Valley, all the freeways are looking good right now. What I really like is when I'm driving, I can go from one green light to the next because the lights seem to really be synced up from one end of town to the other. These travel time signs really help me to get to work on time in the morning. Traffic on the 101 is running as smooth as silk this morning. Keeping traffic running smoothly is critical, especially considering that the Maricopa region is one of the fastest growing areas in the country. With about 267 miles of freeway and nearly 3,400 miles of major streets, the entire regional network handles about 15 million vehicle trips every day. Our region has one of the uh, best freeway systems around. It's fairly new, um, but it's been expanded. And in addition to that, our arterial streets are on a wonderful grid system that most cities would love to have. Planning ahead to keep our traffic flowing is the responsibility of the Maricopa Association of Governments, or MAG, the region's federally designated metropolitan planning organization. The funding and project phasing priorities for the um, FMS. Project. Managing such an extensive transportation network takes coordination and communication. It would be a benefit to all the agencies. Much of which takes place behind the scenes. It's a further look at uh, what you can expect in terms of the congestion in the evening peak period. Using various technology applications called Intelligent Transportation Systems, or ITS. As the MPO for the Phoenix Metropolitan Region, MAG is uh, responsible for ITS planning for the region. Our ITS planning program is known nationally for some of the forward-looking accomplishments that we made in the region. The MAG ITS committee is made up of cities and towns from across Maricopa County. Queen Creek is just one agency that has uh, implemented quite a few new capabilities. Together, the members develop plans and recommend projects for expansion of transportation technology across our region. The idea is for transportation, public safety and transit agencies to make the best use of existing resources through the coordinated use of emerging technologies. The Maricopa Association of Governments is really key center point to um, the, the planning and the deployment of intelligent transportation systems equipment here in the valley. And it really is a clearinghouse for all the communities to get together and share ideas and making sure that we're providing the best tools to the traveling public. The committee also recommends how ITS architecture is implemented in the region and which projects should receive funding. In the city of Chandler, for example, old twisted pair copper wire was originally used to monitor traffic conditions. A lot of wire, capable of carrying only limited amounts of data. For one strand of fiber, it would take 300 of these to get the exact same information. But because of fiber, we're able to get more information with one strand. Today, thanks to funding for ITS, traffic technician Ben McCauley is replacing that wire with fiber optic cables. Fiber can carry huge amounts of information. Right here you have 144 strands of fiber. And is used to coordinate traffic signals, carry traffic camera images, and monitor traffic flow. This one strand of fiber can pretty much light up the world. Fiber is just one of the high-tech tools lighting up the Maricopa region when it comes to managing traffic information. Using technology such as cameras. This is a out west I-10 and 83rd Avenue. Computers and dynamic message signs. Traffic management centers like this one at the Arizona Department of Transportation serve as the traffic nerve centers for road information. This network of centers and the people behind them work together as a group under the umbrella known as Aztec. The architecture that, that um, has been established in, in this region um, follows a decentralized approach whereby uh, most of the local authorities, they have their own traffic management centers like the one that you see behind me here and they also operate their own systems. 
Although the Traffic Management Centers, or TMCs, are independent, they are now being integrated and coordinated across agency and government boundaries. And through that cooperative effort, a lot of ITS components are installed, analyzed. Uh, this facility houses a regional archive data system for which a lot of the cities send their data to that system and then others can view that information. One way the entire network of TMCs is being upgraded is through an exciting new ITS project called the Regional Community Network. The communication system is being upgraded to a new fiber optic network that will expand the ability of the TMCs to share video and live traffic data. Picture a private and secure internet that links all of the TMCs in the valley. That means that a TMC like this one in Tempe will be able to see all of the traffic coming in from neighboring communities like Phoenix in real time, creating one huge regional network. Here in Arizona, particularly in Maricopa County, we've seen uh, a lot of advances in um, traffic systems management, particularly in the use of uh, innovative technologies to um, help to facilitate uh, congestion uh, management. This is your afternoon look at traffic. You can expect delays on the 51 on your commute home. This the afternoon. media is provided access to the traffic information data to keep motorists updated on the very latest real-time road conditions. Motorists can receive this information in a variety of ways. I, th I think like three years ago, you would not have been able to get traffic as fast as you do now. But now with the, the additions of, of the TomTom Tom units and our software that goes directly into multiple formats, whether it's a, a station's web page or a radio station's reporter screen or your cell phone, I just find that the technology is so fast. We can get things out so much faster. That's really amazing. Continuing .2 miles. GPS navigation systems do more than just give you directions to your destination.